Dear friends and well-wishers of KTC, In this video, let us know about the history and background of the Karnataka Theological College, which was established by the missionaries of the Basel Mission. The formation of the Basel Evangelical Mission was the fulfillment of a pledge taken by a few believers in Basel, a town in Switzerland. It was the time of the Neponelic Wars. These people took a vow to start a missionary organization to spread Christ's message in different parts of the world. The end of the Battle of Waterloo in 1815 saw the defeat of Napoleon. These six men of God, a professor of philosophy, three clergymen, a merchant and a notary, did not have to think twice. They met in the rectory of St. Martin of Basel under the leadership of Reverend Nicholas von Brunn and constituted themselves as the Basel Evangelical Missionary Society on 25th September 1815 with its headquarters in Basel. The main task they took upon themselves in the beginning was to train missionaries and provide them to other missionary societies that they were already engaged in evangelist work overseas. In 1816, they started a theological seminary for training personnel for the propagation of the gospel in distant lands. In the beginning, they did not have the intention to send missionaries of their own worldwide, but rather only to train missionaries for other societies that had already started their missionary work in different parts of the world. However, within a few years, the Basel missions decided to send its own missionaries to different parts of the world. Basel Mission in India Till 1833, it was not possible for the missionaries to come to India, as the then ruling British East India Company did not allow any missionary work, assuming that missionary work would hamper their business interests. However, in 1833, the British Parliament passed a new charter bill to allow non-British missionary societies to work in their territory in India. In the meantime, a former student of Basel College had come to India in the service of British society. His reports arose interest among the Basel Mission for India. Finally, they decided to send their first three missionaries to India. Hence, on 30th October 1834, three missionaries from Basel, Samuel Hebig, Johann Christoph Lehner and Christian Leonard Greiner, arrived in Mangalore. They had the mandate from the Home Board to found a mission station and establish a theological seminary for the training of local people in the mission and ministry. The Karnataka Theological College It is very important to remember the key motivator and the chief benefactor whose visionary ideas that led to establish this historical college. In 1833, a German prince, a supporter of the Basel Mission, Count Otto Victor von Schoenberg Waldenburg, offered an amount of 10,000 thalers if the Basel Mission was prepared to establish a preacher's seminary in India. His condition was to start the endeavor within 12 months. On October 31st, 1834, three missionaries from Basel arrived in Mangalore to found a mission station and establish a training center for local co-workers. The missionaries started their work by opening a Canada school in 1836. Right from the very beginning, their work was geared towards the goal of establishing a theological seminary at Mangalore. However, before fulfilling this mandate, they had a long way to go. They could not start their work straight away as there were no native Christians in this place. Hence, they had to begin their evangelism and establish Christian communities. It was only in 1847, 13 years after their arrival, that they could establish a training institute for Indian pastors. This so-called Catechist School was located on the hills known as Balmata in Mangalore. 
the history of seminary shows constant attempts to improve the educational level of its candidates. The first step was taken in 1863, when only those students were admitted to the seminary who had gone through the newly established secondary schools. This was the year in which Catechist School was upgraded to a theological seminary. From 1901 onwards, one of the conditions for entering the theological seminary was to have passed out of the one of the Christian high schools in Udupi, Talisheri, and Darwa. So, during the second half of the 19th century, the general level of education improved rapidly. In 1915, the Methodist Missionary Society, the so-called Wesleyan Methodist, and the London Missionary Society joined hands and founded Union Candris Seminary in Tumku, near Bangalore. Later, the Methodist Church in South India, the so-called American Methodist, joined the Union Candris Seminary for theological education of their Canada pastors. The Candris Evangelical Mission, too, which stepped into the work of the Basel Mission for about 10 years during the World War, sent its pastoral candidates to Tumkur Seminary. All the German missionaries were sent back to Germany by the British government. Only a few Swiss missionaries were left back. They, with the help of the Methodist missionaries, established the Canaries Evangelical Mission to carry out the work of Basel Mission. The Basel Mission returned to India and reopened its seminary in Mangalore on 15th July 1929. It should be noted that the Union Canaries Seminary at Tumkur rendered a great service to the Basel Mission Church up to 1929 and this should be considered as an important ecumenical endeavor. During the 1930s, two different courses were introduced, a two-year course for training evangelists and a four-year course for training pastors. Apart from providing church and evangelists and pastors, the seminary rendered an important service by providing literature and conducting special training courses for teachers of primary and secondary schools in the field of Christian education. In 1947, the seminary was affiliated with Sarampur College for the Licentiate in Theology Diploma. In 1965, the Union Canvas Seminary at Tumkur, which had been affiliated with the Sarampur College for the LTH, Licentiate in Theology Diploma, in 1950, was amalgamated with the Basel Evangelical Mission Theological Seminary to form the Karnataka Theological College, which was inaugurated on the 17th June 1965 in Mangalore. Thus, the Karnataka Theological College Mangalore now traces its origin in two different streams, namely the Basel Evangelical Mission Theological Seminary Mangalore and Union Candris Seminary Tumko. The college was upgraded to Bachelor of Theology, BTH, level in 1970 and to the Bachelor of Divinity, BD, level in 1976. Today, theological education at the Karnataka Theological College is carried out in the context of secular education. The Karnataka Christian Educational Society, known as CASAS, was established in 1969 in order to continue the part of the work of Basel Mission which left India handing over the responsibility of the churches and institutions established by them to Indian leaders. Since its inception, the primary responsibility of CASAS was to run the theological seminary established in 1847 and it is clearly mentioned in the Memorandum of Association of Casas. Casas was established with the mandate to continue the work of Basel Mission in letter and in spirit, especially in the relation to seminary. 
At present, Kansas runs several institutions and programs alongside Karnataka Theological College. Karnataka Theological College trains pastors for three dioceses of state of Karnataka belonging to Church of South India, United Basel Mission Church in Mumbai, the South India Regional Conference of Methodist Church in India, and the Lutheran Church in Karnataka. Efforts are on to include CSI Malabar Diocese of Kerala. Now our vision and what we are looking forward. The Basel Missionary Society, which came into existence in 1815 at Basel in Switzerland, was such an independent and voluntary movement, which was neither a part of any government nor of a state church. It was primarily a product of the pietistic revival in the southern Germany and the German-speaking Switzerland in particular. His sole aim was to make known the offer of God's love to one and all and to invite people to accept that offer. Among other mission fields, it also started sending its missionaries to India since 1834 and continued to be active in India till recently. It mainly worked in Malabar Coast, Coastal Karnataka, Northern Karnataka and Nilgiris. However, its plans to extend its work to the other parts of India as well as its ongoing work were hampered and jeopardized by the two world wars. Despite this problem, the work continued and, on the whole, was well established. To those of us who have come from Basel Mission tradition, the life and work of the missionaries of the Basel Mission in general and the pioneer missionaries in particular are a constant source of inspiration. And at the same time, it is a great challenge to us to emulate their sense of dedication, enthusiasm, steadfastness, perseverance, loving concern for the people, willingness to suffer hardships, trials and privations for the sake of the gospel, simple yet profound trust in God and their obedience to their high calling. Mission and vision of the Basel Mission was continuously evolving since the inception of the Basel Evangelical Mission Theological Seminary due to the contextual needs of the church and society and according to the changing times in India. Historical changes never pushed the seminary or the college to compromise its commitment to the tasks of ministerial formation and importing standard high theological education. The struggles are not yet over. There are several challenges to the theological education and its mission arising from the present state of affairs in the country and also in the church. The transformation from the seminary to college, from the leadership of the missionaries to local leadership, and from the Western theological education system to Senate of Serampur curriculum system, etc. Amid all these historical shifts and transformations, the college has strived faithfully to fulfill the need of the church and its commitment to the ecumenism following the motto, not by the might, but by my spirit throughout these 175 years. Dear friends, we request you to pray and support this mission of theological education and ministerial training of Karnataka Theological College, Mangalore. Thank you.